And welcome back to more PGA Tour. And uh, I think we're going to give this a try. So we switch from round type full to round type quick. And quick means that you only play the most important holes of the tournament. This is for a regular event. We definitely won't, will not do this for the majors. Let's try that. And... Um, Oh, they're finished at nine, nine under and eight under. That's kind of interesting. Question is, do we skip this now? You know what? No, let's just play it. We'll see how long how long the um the round is. Select whole select all eighteen. So does that look like we're only going to play? 18, like one round. Maybe? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Take it easy. Go into career settings. They're on quick. Is this considered a major event? What's the difference? Major event is, no. Majors, PGA, US Open, the Open. Okay, that's fine. Uh, players. And EA Sports is also quick. Okay, that should be fine. Let's let's give this a go. See what happens. See how it plays. See how long it is. If it's only 18 holes, then it's really not gonna it's only gonna be one video. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From a stunning setting. Torrey Pines Golf Course in Southern California. It's opening round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. Situated high on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean, what a golf course, Torrey Pines, and what a weekend we should have in store as we look at the leaderboard here in round one. Alex Smalley is the leader. He's already at nine under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, in good form coming into this one fresh off a victory a week ago so frank here we go the second tournament of this young golfer's career what a splash last week in the well, desert winning a, the american express now, let's PGA do a rolling West. I mean, fade what do you do for an encore after a performance like that yeah people talk about this game can be a life changer but it literally has changed overnight now we know who the name of the player is, right? We know where they come from. We know how good they are. Uh, can you fade How's their life more changed? Than that, well, they get instantly get a two-year exemption. That's it. Exempt oh, no. from all the tournaments. Not worrying about qualifying. Oh, not worrying about trying to get a start in the Masters, in the PGA Championship. Already on the FedEx Cup list. Your career, your dream—it's come true, and it's just the start. Nota Begay the third, four-time winner on the PGA this. Tour, is with us. And Nota, our featured player here in round number one, obviously made, we'll call them bonsai pipeline size waves last week in the golfing world, winning in their first PGA Tour start. That was really something to watch, wasn't it? Well, having that level of performance in their first PGA Tour start is, number one, it's unexpected. But secondly, it just builds confidence. Um, but the world of sports and the PGA Tour is no different. It's what have you done for me lately? Everybody starts again at the same starting line. you got to go out and put the work in. Anytime you want to finish uh, calculating that putt, it would be great. Hello? No? Okay. Well, it's going that way a bit, and then it's going that way a bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And that is hopefully a harbinger for the week ahead as he is very quickly to one under par. We're here, of course, at Torrey Pines, the South Course. Long history of this event in San Diego, dating back to 1952. It's been here at Torrey since 1968. A lot of great winners. Frank, you've played the course a number of times. Overall, what are the things that a young golfer like this needs to keep in mind this week? 
you have to remind yourself it's just a plain, hard, straight-up golf course. And plus, it's going to play every inch of its length because of the marine layer that often comes in. So you have that very dense air. We're obviously at sea level. And plus the Poana Greens, you're going to miss the odd short putt. Um, you can't let that get to you. You look around the leaderboard, you don't see the same 60 nothings that we saw the week before. Put himself in an excellent position. Keyboards, 88 yards. Really good opportunity here. Second shot. Oh, that's just a little short. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, wow, that rolled well past. Almost four feet. Oops. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. With La Jolla and the blue Pacific in the distance, we move ahead to the picturesque 201-yard par 3 third. Club selection can range from a 9-iron to a hybrid, depending on conditions. And you definitely don't want to be long here. Um, lots of spin. Landing it. Uh, basically, right in there. Well, that's going to be a little short, maybe, but that's fine. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. Nota Begay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. And I don't think you'll want to deviate from a straight in. Oh, you're kidding me. I was right in the heart. Uh, maybe you look to the heavens here. That didn't need much more. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll remain at one under par. Here's one of the really good par fours at Torrey Pine South. Not only is it scenic, but it's challenging. And it requires a good tee shot. Well struck in play. And you're happy to walk away with a par here. Outside a bit. Mm, it's a little more left than I would like, but it's pretty much down the middle. Not bad. All right, in the fairway. It's in the fairway, that's the most important thing. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Go in. Yes! Oh, yes. You love to get breaks like that early in a tournament. That one in for a surprise birdie. This par 4 fifth here at Torrey Pine South measures 454 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, then you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. That should be just beautiful. Okay, that's going to split the bunkers. A good tee shot here at five. 
pretty good angle here, getting set for his second shot just on the right side of that fairway. Make some spin. He landed just a little bit short of the hole. Short and left. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, this is an electric start. Already we're seeing birdies galore. And another great iron shot setting up another. Yeah, there's another one. Back-to-back -back birdies here at four and five. All right, so you've made your way through some of those harder par fours, and now you get a chance to lick your chops at this par five. The sixth is 564 yards with a good tee shot. You'll have a chance of getting home in two and maybe making a three. That would be nice. That would do a lot for our um, position on the leaderboard. All right, so we're going to want to fade this a bit. Uh, fade a little more than that for me, please. That's going to be okay, though. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Okay, so... Maybe we will just do an approach shot. If we do a finesse, we've got quite a bit of room there to move. So we're going to go high, uh, and we're going to basically just go straight for it. That might be a little short. Oh, well, that's okay. I think we would have had a very hard time stopping it on the green. Five, Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Uh, we're going to probably want to do no spin. And just land a little bit past the hole. Yeah, that, that actually went further than I thought. Okay. I thought it was going to roll back a little bit, but... This will move to his right. Where are we working Wilbur. downhill, yeah? Oh, this is... This is quite the, uh... Quite the breaking putt. Ah! That missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. Got a little too much movement on that. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll stay at minus three. So we seem to be playing all of the holes, so I don't know. On to the seventh now, a tough hole here, a winding par for it, 462 I don't know. I don't know yards. How that it is the thing number works. one handicap hole on the south course, and for good reason. An approach shot from anything other than the fairway is fraught with peril with a canyon beyond and a deep right front bunker guarding an angled and difficult to hit green. We're gonna wanna basically go like that. On wind, push it. Well, another great round, just getting better all the time. You couldn't place that any better down the middle of the fairway. Ooh, two, two, 20, uh, 324. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Well, there's 134 yards left to the flag. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. This is looking really good. Well, Rich, I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. 
We arrive now at the second par three on the front side, the uphill 177 yard eighth, critical to avoid the large front bunker and get your shot to the right level of this two tiered green. That is super hard to see. Okay, so we're going to want to land it somewhere around there. That is going to go right over into the bunker. Ugh. Well, you hate to see it. Uh, a bit too much there. That's going to hop into the bunker behind this eighth green. It is downhill. Um, I have no idea about spin and things, so we're just gonna, just gonna go for it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's acceptable. <clears throat> Pardon. Yeah, that'll do just fine. Had a pretty good run at that, and par should be pretty well within reach. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll remain at four under. Well, this is a strong par five to close out this front side. It measures 615 yards. Obviously, it's going to be reachable into by only the longest hitters. But still, if you play it the right way, drive in the fairway, the appropriate layup, you can make a birdie. Solid. Nice start. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do a regular shot. And just hammer it in that general direction. Oh yeah, it's running straight for it. Didn't quite make it to it, but we're gonna be good shot easy, right there with that three wood sitting up nicely. Easy chip. Yeah, most importantly, the second shot's on the fairway. And this par five playing long today. See how close this third shot can be hit. Let's do some spin. Oh, that's okay. Could have been a little closer, but it's fine. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side. Five under par. Always nice to kickstart your back nine with a birdie. And you'll have a chance. If, again, and we, we keep repeating this theme at Torrey Pines, if you hit a good tee shot, then you can attack. Ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tricky. Let's do a high draw. Try and prevent it from, uh, Going into that bunker. Mm, not drawing anywhere near as much as I would like, but I think it's going to be okay. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Now, note of his second from the fairway. 143 yards left to the hole. Would not surprise me a bit if you were to stick this one close. going to basically land it with some spin right there. I like the looks of this one. 
Yeah, that's pretty solid. Ran out a little bit more than I thought, but it's okay. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So this in my is going to be a slippery that's a one. Good shot. going to slide by to wow. the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. He'll finish that one off Ooh. with no problem. It's in for par, And he'll stay at five under. If I hit that wet moving now to the speed, top, it probably would have been hole here fine. at Torrey Pines. Long downhill par three measuring 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. Hmm. Okay. Are we down? Yeah, we're down wind as well. Okay. Gonna want to absolutely do some sort of high fade. Probably something like that. Might blow. Oh man. Yeah, that went way over. Oops. Okay, you can see what he was trying to do right there. Maneuver that ball left to right. Just overcooked it a little bit. We're going to do flop. Uh, we're going to do it with no spin. And we're going to land it a little bit past the hole. Oh, wow, that almost dunked. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. It was a really nice shot. So that brushed in for par here at 11, and he'll stay right where he is. Up next, the 505-yard par 412th at Torrey Pines. You can be aggressive off the tee here, and you should be, because if you do not hit a good drive, you're not going to get it home in two. Let's um, fade it on the side. Because that what that uh, wind's working against us. That's yeah, gonna be nice. No problems there. That's gonna wind up safely in the fairway. Now back toward the ocean. This his second at twelve. Let's do lots of spin. Basically, just land, try and land it on that tier. Most importantly. Yeah, that's okay. A little bit further away than I would like, of course, but... Now this for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very Girl. makeable opportunities. Ah. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. Moving now to the massive 621-yard par 513th. You'll need a drive of 240 yards plus to carry that canyon. And if you go for the green in two, the second shot has to carry 260 yards or so. Look at the look at it surrounded by bunkers, too. We're just gonna hit it right down there. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going <laughs> good, doesn't roll. it? And that is yet another solid drive. Still well over 300 yards to the flag. So getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Oh, don't roll down. 
Okay, that's going to get down toward the base of the hill. A lot of divots down there, and that will leave a difficult third. Yeah, no kidding. Holy. Okay, so we're going to go up here. We're going to reduce the spin, and we're going to basically just try to land it right at the hole. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Yeah. Well, it was a good strike. Solid. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Oh, come on. Now, no. Now that's a good opportunity. Unfair. Oh, missed opportunity. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay right where he is. We now arrive at the 437-yard par 4 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. So here at the 437-yard par 4 14th, that canyon that you can see running along the left side is, is pretty to look at, but obviously you want to stay away from there because you can make a big number if you hit your tee shot down there. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. Staring at 147 yards to the front, 118 to the hole. Pin is on the front left part of the green. Mm. Maybe we want to actually go with no roll and land it uh, just shy. Gap wedge in the air. This has got to get up. Oh. So he'll be disappointed short. with that, no doubt. This one didn't quite look right on that one. Roll in. Oh, so nice. So close. Just turn the lot of that any there. good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. The 15th hole is up next. A par four at 480 yards. Not a whole lot to it. A tee shot of the fairway should leave you with a reasonable approach into a green with bunkers left and right. It's pretty... Is it a deceptively simple hole? Because I mean, oh, we do have a uh, tree right here. We're gonna have to do fade. There should be a low fade. Yeah, that should miss that. That is not fading as much as I wanted. And it's gonna roll into the first cut. Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's gonna be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh Still not too bad. Lots of spin. I have to land it right. Actually, we're gonna have to try and fade it into this corner somehow. I don't know how that's gonna end up. That's ah, gonna blow over. Ah, what a. What a disaster. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Would you expect anything less with the way things are going? Everything is dropping right now, even balls from off the green. 
Coming down the home stretch That's here at Torrey Pines, 227 yard par 316. Three bunkers protecting the green, but there is an opening in the front. Okay, downwind. Oops. Finesse shot. Um, we'll go with a four. We're going to do a high draw. Maybe not quite that high. Lots of spin. Something like coming in there. That's going to run off. Yeah, mm -hmm. even with the really having a hard slope, time landing, uh, stopping stuff stop on the stop green. On this green from that far back, and that'll run off long and into the rough. And that ran out a little bit too much. I mean, we could be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? That's all right. I certainly do. It was I mean, so, it's not so terrible. good. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16, and he'll remain at six under par. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443 yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker, 275 yards down that right side. Wind is straight in. Let's go low. Try and roll it out a little. And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Now, no to his second from the fairway. 157 yards left. Pin just on the front edge. Spin? No. No spin. Because we're working with the wind here. Actually, just try and land it near the hole. See how that goes. Not bad. Land rolled a little bit more than uh, I would like, of course, but... Uh, it's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Very outside. Got to go way up here. Oh. Oh, nah, the pace absolutely perfect there down the slope. It's in for a birdie and he's going to get this to seven under now. Two shots off the lead. Here we are at the finishing hole at Torrey Pines, 570 yard, 18th, idyllic par five, barely straight the whole way. But that pond they call Devlin's Billabong always makes going for Devlin's the green into a risky proposition. Is that what that thing is called? Brush it. Brush it down the fairway, please. Uh, that's a good strike right there, and this is going to split the middle. Now we still got a long way in. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to want to do a finesse shot over here. I think. Reduce the spin. Go kind of high ish. Put ourselves in a position for a nice. Uh, pitch shot. Oh, don't go into the bunker, though. Yep, that's fine. We're short of the green. We all know there is so much emphasis these days on power, hitting the ball long ways. We forget once in a while that you have to be able to put the ball in the proper places. That's what he's done right here. Yeah, par fives were designed as three-shotters, and this hole is definitely a three-shotter today.
That's nothing wrong oh, with, with that inside of five. Set it down within five feet. Done. And that's straight in. Yeah, that's how to end it. Back to back birdies at 17 and 18. This a good position to be in after day one for our featured golfer. We're just still a getting shot back and playing well. Yeah, there are thereabouts. Okay. I think that's Something a good uh, indicator. With that, um, that's, uh, that's certainly going to be in contention come Sunday. So one round in the books at All the right. Farmers. I don't know what happened there, but uh, apparently we're still doing each each uh, round. No idea. Yeah, we're still on there, and we're heading into um, round two, I guess. Okay, well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Um, but I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.